Alan Rosenblatt, are you there? I'm here, David. Alan, welcome to Take Action News. Um, I got to ask you, Bill and Hillary Clinton, they are now on Twitter. Uh, what if, what can we learn about them from Twitter, and 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 what do you make of it all? Well, um, this is, I think, the arrival of uh, Hillary and Bill Clinton on Twitter is an indication that you can be very successful on Twitter without being social. And and how so? Are they not engaging with the people who send them messages or engaging with other Twitter users, or are they simply using this as some sort of a pure promotional tool? So, let's see. Hillary got on, and within the first 36 hours or so, she tweeted, and she picked up 446,000 followers. <laughs> um, she has since followed seven people. She follows seven people. She follows... Uh, the Clinton Library, the Clinton School, CGI, the Clinton Foundation, Bill and Chelsea. Right? And that's it. That's pretty much, that's it. One more thing, one more organization that I think is associated with, with, with the family. Uh, Bill Clinton follows ten people. Uh, also Bill and Hillary. Uh, he follows Stephen Colbert, of course, because of the, uh, the pressure. Um, and he also follows the, the variety of Clinton initiatives uh, that, that he's involved in. So they follow nobody outside their circle, outside their family circle and, 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 and organizational circle. Uh, they tweet barely. I mean, Bill has tweeted 47 times. He has 843,000 followers. He's been around a little longer. Uh, he's tweeted 47 times uh, pretty much once, well, some days once, some days twice, some days not at all. Uh, Hillary tweets um, once a day. There's no interactions, nothing. Uh, this is, I think, uh, it reminds me of um, Seth Godin, who had hundreds of thousands of followers, I believe, on Twitter, and never, ever, ever tweeted. <laughs> Just because... People knew who he was, and they wanted to follow him, and they were waiting for his words of wisdom. And trust me, he has a lot of great words of wisdom, but he uh, he just didn't tweet at all. Um, Chelsea, on the other hand, is on there. She has a quarter of a million followers. Uh, she's following almost 300 people, uh, and she does a little bit more interaction. She retweets people. She responds to people. Uh, so, uh, but, you know, a whole other level. Uh, one thing I found striking is that uh, uh, my old boss, John Podesta, is now on Twitter. He's been on Twitter for about five or six months. And uh, he follows Bill Clinton, but Bill Clinton doesn't follow him back. Now, <laughs> if you compare this back to, say, George Bush. Now, George Bush has a Twitter account, but it's locked and not being used. But, it, but Laura has a Twitter account, and she follows Carl Rove one of her husband's, you know, deputy chief of staff. So, uh, you know, I would have expected that, you know, Bill and Hillary should be following their the people they worked with in this context, you know, at least if they're going to be, you know, if, there's this argument, oh, well, you know, uh, I remember the conversation we had um, at Networks Nation a couple summers ago with, uh, with one of Bill, um, Barack Obama's sta uh, communication staff about why the president isn't using Twitter to be to do social in, in interactions. And they said, well, but he's the president. He's busy. And, you know, who's he going to talk to, right? You know, it just seems out of character. And, you know, our reaction was, and, and my, my friend Beth Becker was, was really pushing this, was that, um, you know, well, he could, he could tweet back and forth with other heads of state, you know, mm -hmm. from other countries. Or he could retweet and interact with the cabinet members, um, you know, leading up his various cabinet departments in order to create a, a social engagement with his government out to the public. It would have been, you know, a, a, a twist on the traditional social, but still social. But what we're seeing with, uh, with Bill and Hillary, uh, and I, I gotta think it's to, to a large degree a generational thing, uh, but they're, they look at it as a, as a, um, as a broadcast channel uh, at best.